Am I the asshole? For wanting my daughter to have a relationship with her future step sibling. A little under five years ago, I got divorced from my ex wife Denise. We have a daughter named Emily, and although she primarily lives with Denise, I'm still very much a part of her life. Emily and I had a very strong relationship until last year, when I started dating my fiance Adriana F33. Adriana and I had very different lives before we started dating while I work as a corporate executive, Adriana is a single mother with two kids 14F and 8M and she works as a secretary at my company different departments, so our relationship's completely above board. Because her kid's father isn't in the picture, I've begun to step up a little with her kids to take care of them, though this hasn't impacted my relationship with Emily. However, both Denise and Emily dislike Adriana, as Denise thinks she's a whore while Emily thinks that she's after my and by extension, her money. I'm aware that the age gap probably plays into this heavily. Additionally, Emily doesn't interact with either of Adriana's kids, going so far as to completely ignore them when they're in the same space. After Adriana and I got engaged last month, I pulled Emily aside and told her that I wanted her to have some sort of a relationship with Raquel, Adriana's daughter. Her son, I understand them not interacting as much, as she's twice his age and they have little in common, but Raquel looks up to Emily in spite of how she treats her. I told her that she didn't have to be a sister or even a friend to Raquel, but I thought that both of them would benefit from talking to one another. Emily refused and walked off after that, claiming that she wanted nothing to do with that gold digger's kids. I don't plan to force Emily to do anything she doesn't want to, but I still think she's being unnecessarily cruel. You better get a prenup. The life and assets you built up with your ex should be inherited by your daughter. It's hard to believe that money isn't a part of the attraction of a 15-year difference when one is a single mother who is a secretary and an executive. Making these fast life-changing decisions without really taking your daughter into consideration is telling. Also you should make a new will and make sure your daughter gets her inheritance and not be at the mercy and goodwill of the stepmother if something happens to you. You're not young anymore. IT you can't force a relationship. Especially on a 16 years old who will be getting further and further out of your sphere of influence. You want to keep peace. But stepsisters do not need to talk to each other unless warranted. You've been dating your fiancé for a year and got engaged and threw everyone together. You're surprised as to why your daughter thinks this is rushed. For all she knows you've been having an affair with a work colleague for years and pretended this is new. To her this new fiancé can be a homewrecker. I guess, NAH, but dude, you can't be surprised by this. Corporate executive dating a much younger secretary from his company. You're a stereotype, and not a good one, and it's understandable why your daughter isn't happy. Hell, she's probably embarrassed by and for you. It's reasonable that you would like for her to get along with your fiancé's daughter, but I don't think it's realistic. You're the asshole your daughter is well within her right not to have anything to do with those kids. It's gross of you to try to force it after she has made it clear she doesn't want one. Hope you don't mess up your relationship with your actual daughter more than you already have. Info how does she treat them badly? All you say is that she doesn't interact with them but I don't see how that's being cruel. I mean you started dating her last year and are already engaged I would say what's the rush? How fast did this relationship move? How fast was she introduced to your daughter and how fast did you start taking care of fiancé's kids? Your daughter has had you to herself for 16 years, now she's not only sharing you with your fiancé but her kids. You're the asshole. For asking they have some type of relationship. You don't get to ask that. You do get to declare she is civil to her new step-siblings. But you do not get to request a relationship. LOL look here, you now have to befriend this stranger BC I'm porking her mom now go make nice that ain't the way it works and it's interesting you didn't ask the son to do anything and he is free to simply be a kid and not get involved. You're the asshole. You're the asshole gently. You picked to bring this woman and her kids into your lives. 
It was not your daughter's choice, she's not happy about it and there might be some jealousy over the kids you're helping raise that get more time with you than she does. She doesn't have to like them or have any kind of relationship with them, regardless of how much you'd like them to. Trying to push and force some kind of relationship isn't going to work out well and it will only compound whatever resentment is already there. Because her kid's father isn't in the picture, I've begun to step up a little with her kids to take care of them, though this hasn't impacted my relationship with Emily. You're delusional if you think it hasn't impacted your relationship with your daughter. Try to imagine it's you, and this is happening with your divorced parents. Your dad is spending more and more time with two teenaged boys who are complete strangers to you, while your dad wants you to suddenly be friends, completely ignoring the trauma you're going through as your parents have split up. You're the asshole. Ita, your daughter, 16 and her parents are divorced and her dad's remarrying a much younger woman. You're absolutely an idiot if you don't think she's going to complain and if you keep trying to force a relationship, it's going to be horribly toxic and you will end up never speaking to your daughter once she hits 18. You're the asshole. Your daughter should be first. If she doesn't like your fiancé, I suggest you take that into consideration before marrying her and imposing her kids on your daughter. And you taking care of her kids does impact her relationship with your daughter, especially when your fiancé would convince you to give more money to her kids, and trust me, she would. Put your daughter first. You're the asshole. Your relationship is rushed. Is that because she is looking for a father and security for her children? Maybe your daughter sees something you can't because you're blinded by your feelings for GF. Slow this entire process down. Your daughter will be an adult soon. Why do you need to move so quickly with your relationship? You're the asshole. You're forcing this new family on your daughter and she clearly has said no. That is her right. You're the asshole. Don't force relationships. Your parenting skills aren't that great. Ita. The more you try to force her to play happy families, the less you will see her after she turns 18. I will never understand how people that already experienced a divorce and everything that comes with it get engaged a year after meeting someone new. Get some therapy for you and your daughter. If you keep trying to push her towards your new family you're a massive age. I to dude she needs to be cordial but you can't force a relationship it will make it worse and resentment will build. You need therapy with your daughter and tell her nothing with change and that you still love her and all of that. That can be an issue and it can get messy especially if you put her children over her. OP, your daughter has been an only child for 16 years. You have been a part-time father for 5 years. In one year you met and proposed to a woman with two kids who will live with you full-time. Of course she is upset. Have you discussed finances with Adriana? Do you have a prenup? Is Emily's college fund protected if something happens to you? Are you ready to be a full-time dad to those kids if something happens to Adriana? Is there a reason the wedding can't wait another year or two? Are Adriana and the kids already living with you? Info are you spending more time with Raquel that you did do with Emily? If you are acting like more of a dad up Adriana's kids than you did to Emily, I can understand her frustration. Also, 16 and 14 seem close in age, but are in very different places. Even if they were biological siblings, you can't force relationships. Relationships take time to build. I to your daughter is probably right. Most women see someone like you as their financial freedom ticket. The more you push the more your daughter will hate you. She resents the fact you're playing daddy. My guess she sees more than you. You have a choice marry someone and lose you your daughter. Or slow down let Emily come to terms with this situation up you till 5 years ago she had a whole family now she sees her dad living the life she had with her replacements. To add insult to injury you want her to play happy family every other weekend. Info was the divorce amicable? Or did someone mess up? Cheating. You're the asshole on so many levels. You have been with your fiancé for a whole year. 
Oh boy. That's not that long. Then you are telling her to have a relationship with her kids. You will be back wondering why your biological daughter hates you and cuts you out of her life. Because you are choosing your fiancé and her kids over your biological daughter. Remember this your actions now will impact your relationship with your biological daughter in the future. And by the looks of it, it's going to end up going to shit. Just my opinion but seen to many situations like this. You're the asshole someone's thinking with the